A Walnut Creek man is on a mission to give as many children as possible the tools for a good education. Sharon Chin introduces us to this week's Jefferson Award winner and tells us what has inspired him to do that. Sharon? Yes, Sonny Singh used to see children scavenging for food in the garbage dumps in India, and he realized he could have been one of them. Wren Avenue Elementary School in Concord is an art magnet school with no arts budget. Thank you. So, Principal Celeste Graybill says a $10,000 donation of art supplies is a big deal. The children's faces are going to light up when they see everything we just received. There's more like yeah. From paints to crayons, first grade teacher Eric Vandetta says the school's nearly 400 students now have what they need to unleash their creativity. We wouldn't be able to function without it. The art supplies donated by Sonny Singh of Walnut Creek and his nonprofit Yours Humanly. They don't have anything. Sonny grew so up in India witnessing heartbreaking poverty. What bothered me the most were little children sleeping on sidewalks and near freezing temperatures, begging on the streets. Sonny realized he could have been one of them had his adoptive parents not given him a better life. So we started Yours Humanly in 2013 to give underserved kids access to an education. I'm going to give the same opportunity that was given to me to as many children as I can around the world. Sunny says Yours Humanly has served more than 25,000 children in six countries. Yeah, it, in it, Nepal, Director Candina Garong says Bay Area donations have funded scholarships, uniforms, and books for 2,000 kids since 2015, giving them hope. Otherwise, they'd be farm laborers without an education in a very rural place where you can barely grow crops. And now it, the future is wide open for them. In the East Bay, Mount Diablo Unified School Board member Cherise Count has seen Sunny's nonprofit donate equipment from STEM kits to Chromebooks earlier this year to facilitate distance learning. They care so deeply and they understand. How, how much of a need there is, and they just want to fill that need right away. So for providing underserved children around the world tools for a life-changing education, this week's Jefferson Award in the Bay Area goes to Sunny Singh. And the nonprofit also has chapters around the world in Cambodia, Haiti, India, and the Philippines, so not just here hmm. in the U.S. Sharon, it was nice to see those photos, at least, of children together and teachers and everything. But I'm sure Sonny's had to adapt because of the, the pandemic and remote learning. What's, what's changed? <clears throat> yeah, not just here, but also in places like Nepal, for example. The kids are not able to go to school. They are uh, isolated and they're distanced just as we are. So what they're doing is they're shifting some of their operations so that they are meeting their more immediate needs for food. In mm. Nepal, for example, they've given away 30,000 meals to these families, which wow. are mostly poor. Wow, fantastic work. All right, we celebrate it. Thanks, Sharon. You can nominate your local hero for a Jefferson Award online. You can go to kpix.com slash hero.